a sign of the coming apocalypse. March the 14th today. For days I have been contemplating on speaking on this topic. This is big and I was kind of hesitant really to go there. Although I have already done a ton of research and it's all pointing in the same direction. April 2024 is the big month of earth changes. Huge stuff happening and um, well today it seems everything has been falling in place i just usually i'm waiting to that moment when really the inspiration comes wanting to come out into the collective field today was the heliocentric jupiter uranus conjunction once every 13 years this is a big one he uh, um, heliocentric that means as seen from the sun's perspective earth is another little bit different place in that sense so the two planets only will align exactly from our perspective seen on april the 21st and this is really when the manifestation of that energy is starting or actually this is kind of the crest of the wave as i like to call it and i'm getting to that but let me start you with the message i received today which really got me going i will just read it to you a lifelong friend of mine has lived in many different parts of Africa for almost 40 years. She has spent 30 of those years working directly with elephants, conducting behavioral research. She just told me that she and her colleagues are witnessing all of them moving to higher grounds. Wow. They have been extremely restless for the past few weeks, the animals. And just within the last few days, this is from March the 9th, this, this post here. Just within the last few days, they began freaking out. After this, my friend and her colleagues began contacting wildlife office officials in other places and experts across the entire world. Every single one of them were told that all of their animals are running for the hills. Now my friend and her colleagues are warning everyone that some global unprecedented cataclysmic is about to happen. The animals don't lie. The animals are running for higher ground. They believe that either a global earthquake and or tsunami is coming. They don't know for sure, but they know we don't have much time left. And um, this is Demi Potvin and uh, John uh, Dragic is adding here, who has shared this post. Add to all of this other incredible signs we have all been sharing, seemingly on his group, speaking about pole shift warnings, extreme disturbances to Earth's magnetic field red fiery skies i would guess that would be auroras the, which um i would um put in here the big solar flares we had this year in an extreme um alignment with key alignments astrologically as you see um from what i have um, been talking about otherwise if you're new here welcome always very nice to see new people here Go back to these earlier recordings, they matter a lot. They really show the trans, the trans, the, 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 the build up, I would say, which um, where we are going to. So, aside from all these big solar events with, um, yes, red fiery sky at times, the record airline flights the past three weeks, I haven't heard of that. Very interesting, the mangled and contorted jet streams. Yet another uh, line of research I'm not aware of. The warmest winter on record. The warmest sea surface temperatures on record right now. Anyway, that is this person's uh, contribution. I do not know if that is 
really so or not it doesn't really matter I guess we already have enough extremes on all levels now what I wrote when I shared this and I now will go to the chart the main chart of this event will be April 21st and again this is just the most visible marker there's tons of other signs and I will do an additional video where I show you all the evidence also from the people who have been hinting at these big events since um, many decades starting with Edgar Casey, with Al Bielek and um, uh, Joe Brandt, another one young boy in 1937 who had waking dreams of uh, a coming cataclysmic catastrophe and then naturally Gordon Michael Scallion with his Earth, Earth change maps, all of that I will um, I did quite a bit of research on that and I will present that in an additional video so stay tuned please subscribe if you're interested to get the whole picture here be in the loop so let me re 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 read you what I um, just shared on Facebook so April 24 reveals the perfect astrological signature for exactly this to happen this cataclysmic event as I say I've been really meditating to get ready to speak about it because this is big and I'm really not anyone who takes predictions lightly. I would um, rather not say anything if I were not really convinced that I'm on track here. Anyway, as I still want to leave that window open, this can be still avoided if ne not necessary at the core level of the collective evolution i do not know i hope it will go exactly the way it is meant to go it will do that and regardless everyone each one of us will be exactly at the right spot in time and space and there will be help and people who need to be rescued and brought to safe places will know ahead of time and who knows eventually there will even a um, spaceship show up and rescue certain people in certain areas all possible all has been predicted in that way yes some of it sounds pretty unbelievable Anyway, it starts off with the big solar eclipse, as you certainly know, on the 8th of April. Let me just go to this one here. That is the one. And I will go deeper into the astrology of all these events in an additional video too. Here, I really want to keep it down to the minimum in terms of astrology. So the most outstanding feature I write here in this um in this upcoming weeks or actually it is the yearly peak event i would call which is jupiter and uranus alignment here they are at 2149 jupiter takes about 12 years to one circle around the zodiac in that time uranus is um moving ahead about two signs so it's about the 14 to 15 year cycle for the two hands on this clock to catch up with each other so this is a big event each time jupiter and uranus are coming together there's some novelty some new inventions some new directions evolution moves to and this is particularly interesting as uranus is the ruler of Aquarius hmm? and Pluto just entered Aquarius as you know so Pluto is the dispositor of Uranus hmm? that means Uranus is acting out Plutonic frequencies hmm? in a simple way said it's channeling Pluto down to Earth Pluto all about tearing down, making space so the new can really start getting the light of day. First, the, the big, big old tree has to fall before the young 
ones have the light to really grow up and become big. That's kind of where we are. That's it's a generational shift which is going on. Now this chart is super super powerful. Just think of the Moon Neptune opposition with this late Bals um, not balsamic um, void of course moon that means the moon is really um, a wild card in this chart and again this is just one moment the peak moment when the two planets perfectly align and this is in a very special part of, of, of Taurus let me read you here so the most outstanding and telling trademark of a tsunami of energy to be released is Jupiter and Uranus April 21st conjunction at 2149 in hexagram I Ching Oracle 23 collapse splitting apart assimilation a very powerful frequency that is and you see it here and um, if we look at the simple Here it is, five yin lines and on top is a heavy yang line and naturally this is a very unstable structure. This is bound to split apart, to fall apart, to collapse and in that sense to assimilate into something new because these events have a deep, a deep um, meaning. It is a a profound renewal which comes out of that and that can happen naturally on many uh, levels on a very material and physical level as well as on a more mental level where our concepts fall apart our beliefs are finally disintegrating as we see it's not what is in alignment with reality with truth all of that happening simultaneously now Jupiter and Uranus bringing in that new energy that plutonic energy of Aquarius which is all about coming together as one and and streamlining streamlining our energies into a coherent flow into a symphony uh, creating out of random chaotic waves which for example a flashlight produces when you turn it on every of these photons move at a different angle in a different direction so if you bundle them then you get what we know as laser and you know how powerful a laser is even with a small double a battery if you have that laser you can burn through um, something um, quite quite strong and material just a little bit of energy bundled that much that's what is happening that is what is taking place so let me read you more about this because this is as i said this is just the main fractal of what this present time brings this is just the most outstanding kind of the himalayan peak giving you the meaning of the event in an essence so let's read here what it says the dark lines are about to mount upward and overthrow the last firm light line by exerting a disintegrating influence on it yeah it's the roof caving in because the weak, the walls are too weak the inferior dark forces overcome what is superior and strong yes that's what it feels like naturally but this is again the inversion of of um, reality how things are not what they appear to be so this is yes a difficult um, destructive event but it is in service to something which is just to um, really come out of it so there's a, a really a positive um, deep sub note to it even though it's a difficult experience particularly so as it is the fourth line which is where these two planets are meeting and which then 
gets in, uh, becomes a moving line and this changes the hexagram into hexagram 35 where the sun is above earth which is progress which is a very very auspicious sign but before we get there we have to go through the difficult passage which is marked with this hexagram Anyway, that's all for today. I guess I just wanted to read you one more thing about the uh, two um, degrees here in the Sabian symbols. The 11th degree of Aquarius. That is an individual mental frequency. So it will be everybody will experiencing this event in their own personal coloration which can be very very different as we can imagine during a silent hour a man receives a new inspiration which may change his life interesting the notion of a silent hour i guess if we really are at the in the eye of the cyclone then we are at that place of silence and that is where we should aim to be at such a moment at such a critical central moment where everything is in motion so meditation is definitely um, a key here to ground the energy to ground even more heart energy love bring love to this uh, frequency band we are in that loving presence really channel it through our physical bodies bringing it into alignment with the earth grid building a new earth grid as Jacqueline Hobbs Oracle Girl keeps saying that is what's happening and that will guide all the manifestations into the right uh, tracks into the right directions trajectories and that is um, here in implied the need to rely the need to rely upon inner inspiration and guidance at the start of new developments really beautiful degree and the mid heaven at nine degrees in sagittarius a mother leads her small child step by step up a steep stairway uh, also a very very encouraging um, degree which shows that yes help is there to guide the child up through this um, conundrum this um, unexpected addition we have brought in as a society as theirs is nothing natural so it is guiding us through something which is really not in our um, genetic memory it's something new and beautiful also there is a palace up here which is all about higher intelligence and naturally 22nd degree of taurus i should read you that one too that is where the conjunction takes place that is here let's see what that degree says So 22nd, I said it wrong. That is a white dove flying over troubled waters. How beautiful is that? Mm, troubled waters, that definitely will be. The spiritual inspiration that comes to the individual in the overcoming of crisis. Yes, that's definitely matching reward for the faithful for those who are holding the ground for those of humanity who know that this is a necessary passage we have to go through and are ready to even give their lives away if that's what it means i would be happily going with whatever the flow is into another dimension because yes where can we really go we always will be here regardless just the form will change anyway i would like you to really celebrate 
our present time this is a peak time we are getting into that last final moment before the big shift the big breakthrough it's a culmination in many many ways thank you for being here and listening and um see you soon